Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how we can create a black hole using the Unity particle system. So let's get started. Start by creating a new particle system and rename it to black hole underscore particle system. Now reset its transform, set its X rotation to minus 90 degrees. And uh, after that, uncheck shape and uncheck render now create a new 3d object and select a sphere set its size to 5 okay now create a new material and uh, rename it to sphere underscore mat and set its color to black set its metallic to 1 and smoothness to 0 0.35 now drag and drop this material onto the sphere okay now create a new effect and rename it to rim underscore particle system after that set the duration to 1 pre-warm checked and a lifetime to one second after that set the start speed to zero and start size to six the start color will be rendered between two colors and one will be the lighter shade of blue and the other one will be the lighter shade of green that's it Okay, set the emission to zero and the burst to one. Okay, after that, we have to uncheck shape and the uh, rotation will be random between two constants and the value will be minus 360 to 360. Okay, now inside the renderer, set render mode to mesh and select a sphere okay after that now we will need a rim texture to place here so inside photoshop create a new file of size 512 by 512 and uh, paint the background to black change the color to white select a uh, lips tool whose fill is none and with a stroke click here control alt plus shift and this is our rim and bring it to center click on blending options and outer glow and adjust the values spread would be this something like this okay now save this one as a png Now I will drag and drop my rim here. Okay, now I will check this one. Alpha is transparency. Create a new material and rename it to rim underscore matte. Set the shader to the legacy shader, particles, additive, and drag and drop your this new rim material here now drag and drop this frame here and let's see how it looks set this rotation back to constant and add a value of zero here add the rotation over lifetime to random between two constant it will be minus 360 to 360 so that's looking better let's resize our sphere to see how it looks 
okay why is it not looking as expected i think there's something wrong okay the material the wrong material is selected this is the right material so drag it drop it here okay after that our rim is created size is 555 okay okay now duplicate this rim and now set the color to constant and a pink color much better after that okay now rename it to stars underscore particle system set the x to minus 90 and uh, set to minus 270 make sure the preform is checked set the start lifetime to 5 speed should be 0 and size would be random between two constants and the values will be 0 0.05 and 0 0.5 okay after that color will be random between two colors let's duplicate this one and change its color to constant pink and leave it as it is now go back here here the change the color to green and red Set the emission to uh, 10. After that, check shape and select the hemisphere. Hemisphere set the radius to 1 and scale to 1, 8, and 8. Fine. Next, what you're going to do is set the velocity of a lifetime and set its y value to 1 inside color over lifetime set this one to zero and zero after that we need to check size over lifetime and we need a shape like this one like this Okay, then we have to check external forces and the multiplier will be 15. Check trails. Check world space. After that, set color of a lifetime to orange okay now width of a trail will be a curve something like this after that now we need a material for our trails so let's go to photoshop and delete this one and uh, select the gradient and we need a gradient from white to transparent so create a new layer and this is what we are looking for hide the background and uh, save it as gradient two and import it inside photoshop inside unity create a new material for this or duplicate just this one rename to gradient underscore mat drag and drop your gradient into it and here inside the trails drag and drop this gradient now this looks fine inside velocity of a lifetime Set the Z to something as 1 and uh, 
inside the shape we need to reduce the value of c to something like two yeah that looks better duplicate this one set the colors to yellow and red after that rename it to waves now okay now create a new particle system rename it to waves up set x on 180 duration to 1 and uh, make sure looping is checked preform is checked lifetime is set to 8 speed is set to 0 size is set to random between two constants and the value will be 15 and 35 rotation will be random between two constants and the value will be 0 and 360 emission will be 3 and shape will be mesh and uh, here the shape will be a quad after that we need a new texture go to photoshop delete this one create a new layer select this tool now create a shape something like this yeah now rasterize this one and choose the eraser tool and erase it set the flow to 100 and erase it erase it to make it look like a crescent something like this like blending options outer glow like something like this now erase the areas where you can see outer glow okay now duplicate this by pressing ctrl plus j rotate this one and move it like this and that's it remove the background and save it as a png bring it inside unity and uh, check alpha is transparency duplicate your material rename it to circles underscore mat drag and drop your circles drag and drop your circles onto waves up and this is what you can see next what you need to do is okay next what we have to do is now check color over lifetime and you have to check something like this set this one to pink and uh, this one to pink as well and here select a blue okay and add keys here and set all of these keys to zero and only the middle one is at one that's it okay now check size over lifetime here what we have to do is we have to select something like this like this after that select rotation over lifetime and set a value of 60 and then okay now 
now inside shapes check mesh and uh, it's on this x-axis set it back to zero no not zero one more thing change the render alignment to local and now you can see your waves now duplicate this one and rename it to waves down okay and all i have to do is reverse the direction of rotation to minus 60. yeah that's looking amazing okay after that create a new effect and rename it to vertical waves underscore particle system set it x rotation to minus 90 degrees drag and drop your circles here set the duration to one looping should be checked pre-warm should be checked light time should be four speed should be zero size would be random between two constants and it be five and twenty rotation will be random between two constants and it be zero and 360 after that color will be this much transparent emission would be one and uh, shape is again a mesh okay now color over lifetime would be the same one here you can just copy it from here copy it and paste it and size over lifetime would be same as the previous one you can just drag it a little bit above yeah, something like this and rotation over lifetime would be 60 so now play this one and that's it That's how you create a black hole using the Unity particle system. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. We will see you in a new video. Goodbye.